I'm Samira Byrne. And I'm Cole Krennic. Today is Wednesday, November 29, 2023. It's the 65th day of school, and we have 106 days left after today. Now let's go to our pledges. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now the Texas Pledge. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state under God, one and indivisible. Please remain standing for the moment of silence. You may be seated. Students, you have until next Monday, December 4th, to bring in five canned goods and turn them into your third period teacher. Five canned goods will get you 10 points. It must be the full five canned goods. No partial points will be given for less than five cans. Additionally, there is a limit of 10 points available. You cannot earn more than 10 points for bringing in more than five canned goods. Third period teachers, please remember to record student points on the spreadsheet shared to you in your email. Thanks for helping us out. The 12 days of Christmas dress-up day start Friday. Students and staff who wear red and green will earn 10 points towards attending the EBIS Cookie with Santa party. This is a reminder that we cannot make any permanent IDs at this time. We will announce when the ID printer returns. In the meantime, please get a temporary ID if needed. If you want to play football in, the 2020, in 2024, you must have it approved by Coach Youngs. You will not be allowed to play if you don't go through the offseason. Attention female students interested in the STEM field. There is still time to sign up for the field trip to Universal Technical Institute on Wednesday, December 13th. You can scan the QR code now to sign up. We will leave school in the morning, travel to the UTI campus in Austin, take part in a campus tour and hands-on projects, as well as enjoy a panel discussion with employers and successful women in the STEM field. We still have spots left, but you need to sign up soon. If you have any questions, please contact Mr. Summerlin or Mr. Weiser. For students who have already signed up for the field trip, Please go see Mr. Weiser or Mr. Summerlin to pick up a permission form. These need to be signed by your parent or legal guardian giving you permission to go. Come out and party in the North Pole at the annual BISD Dance Showcase, December 8th at 7 p.m. There will be a holiday bake sale before the show at 6.30 p.m. We hope to see you there. As an added bonus, you will receive an extra 10 points towards Cookies with Santa if you attend. Be sure to bring your ID and show it at the front. National Honor Society induction is today at 6.30 in the auditorium. All current members are required to attend as well as, in, as, well as new inductees. If you're interested in join, joining powerlifting, there will be a meeting on Friday, December 8th at 7 a.m. in the Cruzy Fieldhouse weight room. Anchor Club will meet on Sunday, December 3rd at the Washington County Health Living Center, 1301 East Tom Green Street. The board will meet at 3 o'clock and the club will meet at 4 o'clock. When Sean speaks, will be our guest. See, see you there and bring a friend. Did you take a trip this summer? Go to the beach, hang out with friends? Yearbook wants your best summer selfies. Email your pictures to B B H B H S yearbook at brenhamk12.net. With over a week of attempted guesses, and after an entire class period of trying to figure out the number of candy canes in the jar, Philip figured it out the correct number of 61 with a lot of deductive reasoning taking place. The new candy jar has a new twist to the quantity of candy canes. It is not a whole number. Good luck. Hold, no, no, no. Hold on. Wait, whoa, whoa. It's not a whole number? No. Are you serious? It's, it's fine. It's Don't a continuous down. variable? No, it's all right. It's probably like a half number. The, or theoretically, they cannot guess this. Like, theoretically, there's a 0% chance of this. We understand. It's okay. It's probably like a half number or something. You can go sit down. Okay. Go sit down. All right, bye. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. Now let's go over to Ethan with sports. Cub basketball went 5-0 last night with their 64-55 win over Lamar Consolidated. They play again tomorrow at the Cedar Creek Tournament as they look to add more wins to the record. Cubette basketball won last night as well as home. They defeated Randall 42-37. Let's take a look at the highlights.
their record improved to 4-6 with this win as they go into their next six games in three days at the tournament. The first two games are tomorrow versus Lumberton and Laporte. Back to you, Amara Cope. Happy birthday to Dariana, Alira, and Sophia. Lunch today will include the following. In the basket line, we have breaded chicken drumstick with a hot roll and Nashville hot chicken tenders with a hot roll. In the build your own line, we have black forced ham, breaded chicken filet, tortilla, hoagie bun, and white bread. In the burger line, we have a cheeseburger, chicken fried steak burger, and crispy buffalo ranch chicken burger. In the pizza line, we have Caesar salad with garlic knot, peanut butter and grape uncrustable, pepperoni pizza, and personal cheese pizza. That's everything for today, Cubs. There's 17 school days until Christmas break. Have a great day.